Friends today I am incredibly excited to tell you that I have discovered another new way to create a 100% working bootable USB drive of Mac on Windows. In this method, we will download the Mac operating system direct from Apple's website and create its bootable USB drive on Windows. So it means, first time ever you will learn that you can create a 100% working Mac bootable USB drive on Windows by downloading the Mac operating system from Apple's website. Isn't that cool? This is not the first time that we have made a video that no one has made before. My subscribers know very well that we have done this many times. So if you are here for the first time, I will highly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel for more useful videos like this. So friends, to create a bootable USB of Mac on Windows, we will need three things. Mac OS installer, two softwares, and a 16 GB blank USB drive. First we will prepare our USB drive and then make it bootable. First, plug your USB drive into your computer, make sure you don't have any data in this USB drive, otherwise your data will be lost after formatting the USB drive. Now go to your start menu and open your command prompt as an administrator. Run the following commands step by step. So the first command is, disk part. Type disk part and hit the enter key. Now type list, give a space, and then type disk. And hit the enter key. This command will show how many disks your computer has. In my case there are two disks. Disk 0 and disk 1. Disk 0 is my hard drive and disk 1 is my USB drive. In the next step we have to select our USB drive. So I type, select disk 1 and hit the enter key. Disk 1 is selected. So now we have to clean it. So I type, clean, and hit the enter key. Now our disk is cleaned, so we type the next command. Convert. Give a space and type, GPT, and hit the enter key. This command will convert our disk into a GPT partition scheme. After that, type create, space partition, space primary and hit the enter key. That's all, 60% of our hard work is done. Now type exit to get out of this. Our USB has been successfully converted to a GPT partition scheme. Now we close the CMD and go to the next step. In step number two, we will download the Mac operating system from Apple's website. I am giving you a link to a page on the Apple website in the description of this video. All old and new Apple operating systems are available for download here. Some operating systems you can download directly from here, and for some, you need the App Store. First, we will focus on this portion, and then we will discuss this portion. Operating systems that can be downloaded directly from here include macOS Sierra, El Capitan, Yosemite, Mountain Lion, and macOS X Lion. Let's download one of them. I choose macOS X Mountain Lion. As soon as I click the Mountain Lion link, it will start downloading the Mountain Lion DMG file into my computer. This process will take some time, depending on your internet speed. After downloading, go to your Downloads folder. And here you will see a file named, Install macOS. If we create a bootable USB from this DMG file, our bootable USB will not work. And that's because, this DMG file contains Apple's installer in zip format. You must unzip the installer first, for creating a 100% working bootable USB drive. And this is where step number 3 begins. In step 3, we will download two software. Any to ISO which is available on both, Windows and Mac platforms. And TransMac. Download and install both these software on your PC. After installation first open, any to ISO. Now create two empty folders on your desktop. After that, click on the open image button. Now go to your downloads folder and select install Mac OS X DMG file. Click on the open button. After that, first select the Extract to Folder Radio button. And then, click the Select Folder button. 
go to your desktop, where we create two empty folders. Select one of them. Now click on the Extract button. This process will extract the macOS installer package from the macOS DMG file. This process will take some time depending on your hardware configuration. When this process is complete and you open your desired folder, you will see a file, install macosx.package in it. Now close your folder and once again, click on the open image button. This time go to your desktop and select the folder where you extracted the macOS installer. Select, install macosx.package file and click on the open button. Click on select folder button and this time choose your second empty folder. Everything is okay, now hit the extract button. Wait for the process to finish. Now click here to open the output folder. And this time you will see three files here. Double click on install macosx.package file. And this is the file we need. Install ESD. This is a complete macOS installer. Drag this file into your desktop. Now close the folder as well as any to ISO app. I also delete these two folders as we no longer need them. Now go to your start menu and open TransMac as an administrator. Because we are using the trial version, wait for the countdown to finish, and click on the run button. I would prefer to format my USB drive, before I choose the restore with disk image option. So I click on the format disk for Mac. Click on yes. If you want to give your USB drive a name then you can give it, otherwise leave it as it is, and click the OK. Click on yes. And wait for the USB to be formatted. After that click on the OK button. Now we are ready to restore. Right click on your USB drive and choose restore with disk image. Click on yes. Now click on these three dots and browse your Mac OS installer. Click on open button. As soon as I press the yes, it will start restoring the Mac OS X Mountain Lion installer into my USB drive. This process will take some time, depending on your operating system size and hardware configuration. When the process is complete, you will get a restore complete message. Click on OK and check our USB drive. So you can see that my Mac bootable USB drive is created. By the way, if you don't see these boot files, go to settings and enable show hidden and system files. Let's check. Plug your USB drive into your Mac. Press the power button and immediately hold option key of your keyboard. Now select your USB drive from boot picker screen. You can see our Mac is booting from our USB drive. After boot, we can easily install the Mac operating system with the help of this USB drive. Anyway, if you want to create a bootable USB drive of a new Mac operating system on your Windows computer, just like Mac OS Catalina, Big Sur, Monterey, or Mac OS Ventura, then please watch our this video. If you want to create a bootable USB drive of a specific operating system on your Windows computer, so their step-by-step -step videos are also available on our channel. If you love our efforts, please hit the like button and consider to subscribe my channel. Thanks for taking your precious time to watch this video, take care. Bye.